In 2008, the global food crisis caused drastic price hikes around the world. And among the hardest hit were those who live in least developed countries where there is often a dependence on food importation. In response to this crisis, the European Union established a 1 billion euro food facility to fund short-term projects in as many as 50 of the world's poorest nations. The remit of these projects is to intensify the food production base to help these countries respond to any similar crises in the future. In Madagascar, the EU's food facility project is called Paracam, as the Secretary General of the Ministry of Agriculture explains. Le Paracam c'est un projet d'appui à la résilience de la crise alimentaire à Madagascar. Et il y avait eu cette crise alimentaire mondiale quand le prix des grains, le prix des huiles et les prix des produits alimentaires ont augmenté. Here in Madagascar, the two-year EU project is being implemented by the International Fund for Agricultural Development, or IFAD, a UN agency that funds longer-term projects in a bid to help lift the rural poor out of poverty. So, we have added this project PARECAM to all the projects that intervene already in Madagascar in almost 12 or 13 regions. C'est comme un projet d'urgence, c'est pour résilier à la, à la crise. C'est un projet de très courte durée pour pouvoir agir vite. Donc on a déjà les, les projets sur place qui peuvent accélérer la mise en œuvre de, de ce programme. There are currently four IFAD projects operating in Madagascar. They vary in their objectives, but each one provides the institutional framework and technical expertise to launch the Paracam project as quickly as possible for the most immediate impact possible. The Prospere project supports rural enterprise in five of the country's 22 regions and encourages apprenticeships as well as training in accounting, management and marketing. Prospere is a program financed by the Fonds International de Développement Agricole, le FITA, Et c'est un programme du gouvernement dont l'objectif est d'améliorer le revenu des ruraux pauvres par la diversification de leurs activités et la promotion de l'entrepreneuriat en milieu rural. Yeah, euh, le programme PPRR, c'est un programme euh, du, du ministère de l'Agriculture, donc du gouvernement de Madagascar. C'est financé par le FIDA et cofinancé alors par euh, le fonds de euh, l'OPEP pour le développement international. C'est un projet de lutte contre la pauvreté, dont euh, la stratégie principale, c'est l'accès au marché, donc faciliter l'accès au marché des petits producteurs. Tout d'abord, AD2M est un projet qui travaille sur les thématiques de la sécurisation foncière et de la mise en valeur de la base productive. Et Paricam vient euh, exactement quand en consolidation de ce, ce qu'on est en train de faire dans la composante de mise en valeur de la base productive au niveau des deux, deux régions d'intervention de AD2M. The fourth IFAD funded project, Europa, which is operating in many parts of the country, gives support to farmers associations and agricultural services while promoting production intensification and improving market linkages, therefore also complementing the aims of the Paracam project. BVLAC and BVPI are two programs also affiliated to IFAD and the Paracam Venture. Paracam has an overall target of 87,450 additional tons of food produced by project closure. Each of the host projects has an individual target for additional food production in its own intervention zone. Prospere, 14,000. PPRR, 7,600. AD2M, 10,950. Europa, 32,500. BVLAC and BVPI, 22,400. By project close in September 2011, over half a million people will have benefited from this nationwide effort. Paracam is structured into four categories. Irrigation infrastructure, improved productivity, storage and marketing, 
and sustainability and upscaling. Irrigation infrastructure includes developing irrigation networks by rehabilitating old canals and dams and constructing new irrigation systems which in turn are managed by water users associations. Toujours au niveau de ce résultat 1, on prévoit donc l'encadrement le, des associations des usagers de l'eau. Ce sont donc ces bénéficiaires de différents ouvrages donc qui seront euh, organisés en association pour les entretiens de, des ouvrages et surtout aussi pour la pérennisation des actions entreprises. Paracam aims to have an additional 9,470 hectares of irrigable land available across Madagascar by project closure. All projects now have the administrative and physical frameworks in place to start work in rehabilitation and construction. Prospera aims to have an additional 1,400 hectares of irrigable land available, AD2M 1,970 and Europa 800 hectares. PPRR has already started work and has an additional 879 hectares of land irrigated thanks to Paracam, with an aim of irrigating a total of 2,400 hectares. Meanwhile, Bivilac alone has already substantially exceeded its objective of 2,900 hectares. Together with BVPI, these two projects have irrigated 83% of their projected totals already. Improved productivity is the biggest of the four categories in terms of financial investment. Paracam is focusing on producing more food per hectare by providing access to better quality seeds, fertilizer, tools and other inputs. In addition, farmers all over Madagascar are being taught how to master improved planting techniques and land usage. One of the best-known techniques is the System of Rice Intensification, or SRI. The technique requires the seedlings to be planted very young, at just eight days. This farmer, René from the Central High Plateau, is now planting according to the SRI technique. <laughs> Water management is vital to the process, which, if done properly, actually requires less water than traditional practices. Since the development of the SRI technique some 20 years ago, as many as a million farmers worldwide have seen yields increase by as much as fourfold. Another cost-effective, environmentally friendly and low-tech method for improved yields can be found here in the central high plateau region of the country, where the Prospera project is active. Paracam is promoting the intensification of bean production by encouraging an improvement on old techniques. Ici, nous voyons euh, une association de culture entre l'haricot et le manioc. C'est la façon traditionnelle de le faire et c'est pour la gestion du sol parce qu'ils n'ont pas assez de, de parcelles. Mais nous avons préconisé la plantation de chaque spéculation sur des parcelles différentes. Nous avons donc euh, demandé, instruit, formé les paysans à planter les haricots euh, en ligne avec des espacements de 40 cm entre les lignes et de 15 cm entre les pieds d'haricot. Et pour d'autres parcelles, nous avons aussi incité les gens à planter et avec des couvertures mortes, donc utilisation des pailles euh, entre les lignes, parce que cela favorise le, la conservation de l'humidité du sol.
Maintenant, je vais vous présenter deux dames qui travaillent sur le champ et qui sont les propriétaires. Manon Adoubko Manon Adoubko Salam Miss Tintin, qui est là-bas 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 elles ont travaillé avec le Palécam parce qu'il y avait possibilité d'acquisition des engrais, les intrants, donc les pesticides, il y a aussi les semences. Il y a aussi il y avait formation euh, sur les techniques de culture. Et cette formation-là, c'était fait ici même dans le village. These demonstration plots are strategically positioned on a well-used road where locals can observe the outcomes and adopt the practices accordingly. It's a strategy which is used by Parakam elsewhere, such as here in the East Coast region where PPRR is active. D'autres activités de ce résultat 2 sont donc le, les cultures maraîchères. La campagne donc de culture maraîchère donc euh, vient de s'annoncer et les paysans sont, ont déjà eu des formations techniques en matière d'entretien de, de, des parcelles. Training here on the East Coast involves making farmers aware of the advantages of diversification and crop rotation. Monoculture in this region has had a particularly negative impact and efforts are being made to put nutrients back into the soil. This plot is planted with peanuts and will be planted with a different crop after harvest, which will suit the weather and soil conditions and also the market at that time. The agricultural advisor here has done a lot to encourage diversification. De ni formation en culture maraîchère et favita, de formation en rotation de culture et favita, de tous les talouan ni si vouli au berzin, de enquêtisant cette au berzin nous avons fait nous avions béni et zavata mamou 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 vouni, de et tous les nizian nanganu fambulena à avouanzbouri zavata mamoudi. Zanwe anangatini fangatara na nufunta nzania detu kunimisha rotation de kultura zanwe fufanda mbasha mbuli. Here in this more tropical region, there is an example of how the project responds to local needs. The native banana trees, which provide a staple fruit of the country, are diseased and rapidly dying out. Parikam has invested in 30,000 new trees of a different variety to compensate for this loss. Et, et on va donc procéder à la distribution, à la mise à disposition des semences des différentes cultures maraîchères pour ces paysans. And now different regions are establishing centers not only for seed distribution but also for seed production, which is a sign of how important the distribution of top quality seeds is for Paracam to succeed. The midterm results from June 2010 for Paracam in partnership with the projects show that the distribution is going well. Prospera's main crops are rice, maize, beans, onions and cassava, and they aim to distribute a total of 505 tonnes of seeds, of which 41 tonnes have already been distributed to farmers. PPRR has distributed a total of 141 tonnes of the project total of 945 tonnes. AD2M's objective stands at a total of 9 tonnes of seeds distributed for Paracam, with 29 tonnes already distributed. Europa 2 has seen positive results, having distributed 17 tonnes of seeds of 173 tonnes, while BVLAC BVPI Aloetra aims to distribute 1,967 tonnes, of which 77 have already been distributed. The different climates of the regions where Paracam is operating means the staple crops change from project to project. However, rice remains the national staple and is expected to make up over half of the additional annual production countrywide. Paracam's third category concentrates on storage capacity and marketing. Here in the village of Rianilla in the district of Brickerville, new storage facilities are being constructed in preparation for the expected increase in production. Valérie Benesena is the manager of the storage facility here. 
Ito vokatra rehetra izany dia vokatra voalohany azo tampare kam le projet d'appui à la réalisation alimentaire après de rehetra ny manampy ny paysan manampy ny paysan izany dia vonona lalambakotra sy mba tsy mba tsara tsara le revenu ny paysan izany Les quantités font un grand nez à terme des ans de omni et en sauce un omni vingt-six tonnes. The midterm results from June 2010 show that some progress has already been made in increasing the amount of storage capacity available across the project regions. The Prospera project has completed feasibility studies for the construction of an additional 1,275 tonnes of warehousing capacity. Meanwhile, PPRR plans an additional 1,120 tonnes of capacity, of which they have already managed to build 230. AD2M aims to provide two large warehouses with a combined capacity of 150 tonnes. Europa plans a total additional capacity of 165 tonnes. Associated credit facilities are an integral part of the storage service, where farmers can use their stored crop as collateral against small loans, and these facilities are also being provided, as the project leader for AD2M explains. Il faut noter que on a seulement un point de service sur 19 communes d'intervention de la zone actuellement, et à travers ce protocole de collaboration, on compte élargir, on compte ouvrir ce nouveau point de service. The fourth Paracam category deals with sustainability and upscaling, aiming to ensure that activities continue long after the project is finished. To this end, the Madagascar Government's Centre for Agricultural Services, or CSA, will be available to provide the advice and expertise that the project can no longer provide. For the result 4, sur les formations et les appuis en au service des services agricoles, le CSA. Le programme a déjà donc collaboré avec le, le CSA pour la pérennisation de, des actions. It's the farmers' organizations that form the backbone of Paracam, and the potential for the project's work to continue after pullout relies on the smooth functioning of these organizations. The CSA is there to support them, and they are supported by organizations such as the UN's World Food Programme, or WFP. WFP has committed to buying up locally produced food in terms of emergency within the country, as well as for their school meals program. A move which offers a reliable market for a large quantity of produce. And which also reinforces the UN's stated aim to improve global partnership. At this midpoint, where the Paracam has the expertise and structure in place to achieve its ambitious target remains to be seen. However, Madagascar's Secretary-General of the Ministry of Agriculture is confident of the long-term impact of the project. Oui, le projet Paracam peut contribuer à l'autosuffisance alimentaire nationale par donc l'exportation des excédents vers des, des zones d'intervention du, du projet vers d'autres zones déficitaires de, de Madagascar. Et c'est aussi un, un but du, du ministère pour pouvoir développer. Parce que, euh, comme vous le savez, donc, le, le programme de FIDA intervient dans des zones vulnérables et dans des zones où, où il y a beaucoup de pauvres en milieu rural. Donc, euh, l'augmentation euh, de la production dans ces zones vont dégager des, des excédents pour d'autres zones, donc et cela va euh, atténuer un peu le, le, le besoin dans d'autres de, de Madagascar, le besoin d'importation.